Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. You? Fine, thanks. Tell us your name, please. Uh, I'm Colleen Barre. Right. Where are you from and what do you do or study in your country? I am French, but I actually study in Montreal, Canada, and I study political science and economics. All right. Why do you choose Costa Rica? Um, I chose Costa Rica because I knew it was culturally rich and I also knew that as it was a small country it would be really easy to travel on the weekends and see a bit more of the country. Right. What program are you doing and for how long? I did uh, volunteer work at an orphanage during three weeks. Right. How were the local coordinator staff and the support provided in country? Uh, they, it was really good. Uh, I knew that I could text and or call on my coordinator anytime I needed, if I had a problem, if I needed like some advice or anything, so it was really good. Okay. What was the most surprising thing you have experienced? Um, I'd say I was surprised at how fast you could go anywhere here in Costa Rica, because like, uh, the bus is really cheap and um, in a few hours you could be at the beach, you could be at a volcano, you could be in the middle of a forest, so that was really surprising and a good thing. All right. What was most difficult to experience? Um, it was probably working uh, with the children at the orphanage, which, could, which uh, could sometimes be a bit difficult, like knowing um, how to act, how to react with the kids. And I'd also add to that on top, like uh, the language barrier because I don't speak fluent Spanish and sometimes it could be hard communicating with the kids. Okay. Any tips for future volunteers like clothing, travel, personal items or donations? Um, I definitely say bring a, a travel guide because if you want to travel in, in Costa Rica you're definitely going to need one. It's really useful. I also say bring a dictionary. If you don't speak fluent Spanish it could be useful. And um, if you're coming during the rainy season, bring a rain jacket and an umbrella. You're going to need it. And I guess, oh, and also maybe bring some cash as well. Uh, extra cash if you're planning on traveling because you spend it pretty fast. Right. Um, how would you describe your accommodation, meals, and security? Host family. Um, it was perfect. My host family was really nice, especially my host mother. She was really, really sweet. She'd always make a ton of food, ask us what we like, and we were free to do whatever we wanted. And we'd only have like to tell her where we'd go on the weekends, but she'd always give us advice and call for us to make reservations. So that was really, really, really nice. All right. What was your favorite mem memory on this trip? Um, I couldn't choose one. Um, I'd say it was probably traveling on the weekends with my roommate because we went everywhere. We, I mean, between seeing a volcano and like walking in the rainforest or walking along like paradisiac beaches. Like, I couldn't choose one, I think. All right. How was the uh, Broader View USA support prior traveling? Um, it was good as well. I like I'd send an email and in a like a couple of hours or maybe max the next day I'd have an answer. So they were really available, and in a way the website was also very clear. Everything was there, so definitely I said good. All right, and are you willing to speak to other potential broader view volunteers? Um, yes, definitely. I speak positively about a broader view. I didn't know the organization prior to coming here. I just like read on reviews and uh, websites, and so it was kind of a good surprise. And I definitely talk positively about a road review. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Thank Bye. you.